Melodica and a very good evening. Welcome to the Raja Mangala Stadium here in Bangkok. My name is Reem Shahua together with Roshan Rai, the analyst this entire tournament for the AFC Under-23 Championship. And tonight, all eyes are on the War Elephants, the home team Thailand, as they start off their campaign against Bahrain. But Roshan, since this is our first show, let's talk about the 16 teams that are involved and, you know, the highlights of their qualification journey so far. Listen, I think it's going to be an excellent showcase of the future of Asian football over the next three weeks or so. We've already seen uh, Iraq and Australia kick things off a little bit early on. Uh, but we talk about qualifying, it was tight in those groups, or most of the groups anyway. Okay, you had the likes of Vietnam, uh, Japan, Bahrain, you know, not conceding any goals in the qualifying stages and uh, going through with a, with a perfect record. And they come into this. But when you look across the board, when you look at the sides that are participating in this competition, they're all of a similar sort of level, a similar sort of standard. And I'm expecting good quality throughout the competition. And that's what we're going to see. We're going to see the stars, the future stars of Asian football coming through here. Some of them we already know about, uh, but perhaps some others, a few surprises, you know, introducing themselves to the general public here. And uh, I'm excited uh, what lies ahead over the next three weeks or so. All right, and touching a little bit on the home team, they've got a great manager behind them, talented players, and of course, home advantage. How important are all these elements in a continental competition such as this, especially with the uh, uh, Olympics at stake? Look, very important, very important. I think it always benefits you if you're playing at home. You're used to the conditions, you're used to, you know, situations. You're a little bit more in control of the things that you can, you know, control the controllables. And, and you, you try and take that and use that uh, to your advantage. And Nishino has spoken about the fact that, yes, perhaps that's a, they feel a little bit more pressure playing at home. But it's something that they've got to learn to deal with. And it's something that these players, a few of them already senior international players, uh, will have experienced and will have gone through. And I don't think it'll be too much of an issue here. It's just a matter of whether they can sort of lift their game, lift their performances um, up to the standards that will be required of them um, over the course of the competition. And when you think about a side like Bahrain here, who again have players who have experienced the Asian Cup, who are successful in the uh, West Asian Championships uh, coming into this. Uh, you, you're thinking about the likes of uh, Marhoun uh, in those attacking areas, in those midfield positions, uh, you know, and uh, Al Shamsan in, uh, in, in central defense. These are players who have plenty of quality, plenty of experience. So it's going to be a, a, a big challenge uh, for Thailand against an uh, uh, experienced Bahrain side in this competition. But let's hope that there's a, there's a good game in store for us. All right, are there any uh, Thai national players that you have your eye on? <laughs> well, you know, you know the, the obvious ones would be Super Chai uh, uh, leading the line for them, uh, Super Chok in, in, in those areas. They've got very talented young players coming through in those attacking positions. Can they feed the ball into them, get them into those uh, good attacking areas? Uh, uh, Amon Letzak is another one in central midfield to keep an eye out on. All through the park here, uh, you know, Shinapat in central defence will be leading them uh, from the back there. So there's quality to look out for again. Over the, not just in this game yeah. between Thailand and Bahrain, but over the next few weeks or so. All right, thanks for that, Roshan. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for now. Uh, we're going to give way to the kickoff, which is happening at 8.15 p.m. local time, Thailand versus Bahrain. Good luck to both teams, and we will see you at the halftime show, which you can find on ASC's YouTube channel.